Since launching its innovative smart pelvic floor trainer in 2015, LV has secured contracts with health services around the world and expanded into other areas of women's health. The company's best-selling product, the LV Pump, is said to have revolutionized pumping, offering mums the chance to do so silently and on the go, and since launching in 2018, has become one of Amazon's best-selling breastfeeding products. Now with new additions to its portfolio, LV has secured almost $100 million in Series C funding, with which the business plans to expand geographically, diversify its product portfolio into other key life stages, and become a global platform for women's health needs. I've come to Bristol, England, home to LV's research and development hub, and as a mother of a toddler with another on the way, I'm particularly interested in seeing what the team is working on right now. Almost half of LV's workforce is based at this site, developing and testing the products of the future under the guidance of founder and CEO Tanya Bowler. For so many years, we've seen tech disrupt many, many different sectors out there, but only recently has it started to disrupt women's health. Why do you think it's taken so long? At the most basic level, it is because the tech sector is led by men, and they're obviously men do create great health tech companies and, and can focus on women's health. Women's health issues are intimate and quite hidden. So I think it's taken a new generation of female founders to start highlighting that these are real issues that can be solved through technology. But I think right now is such an exciting time uh, for femtech, right? Uh, because I think for big change to happen, you need lots of macro uh, factors and changes to, to collide. Mm -hmm. So what we're seeing really now is, first of all, the whole social context has changed. We're seeing a huge untabooing of womanhood, uh, particularly Gen Z, and, and on, on social. You know, young women are saying, look, I'm menstruating and I'm proud. I'm not embarrassed. And that creates the right context to be talking about some of these issues. Uh, and second, obviously, the huge technology disruption we've seen through particularly smartphones, so having the ability to have data in real time about your body and health. And third, I think within healthcare systems, they are disrupting at quite a slow rate, but they need to, right? The old fashioned doctor patient paradigm no longer holds. Uh, the health systems are not able to focus so much on prevention and wellness. So naturally, individuals are taking more control of their own health. So you bring those three big factors together, the sort of third wave of feminism, uh, smartphone technology and health system change uh, and really it's creating an environment where where companies like LV are able to to really thrive. That said it's been a really uphill battle you know when we started there wasn't even the term femtech uh, we were constantly being accused of being niche and I think we've had to you know where maybe a bar for another tech company might be we've had to go above and beyond to prove ourselves. Mm -hmm.